What's going on guys, Luis here for another video for you guys. In this video, I will be installing a shifter knob uh, onto the S2000. So here it goes, let's get to it. All right, so the tools you're gonna need to install your solid gold uh, shifter knob, other than what uh, TWM Performance supplies, which they supply this right here, which is essentially a two-sided tool, you know, flathead screwdriver, I guess. One for the, um, the spacer that's gonna go inside of your shifter knob and then this is the part that actually gonna that's actually gonna thread into your factory um, threading on where your shifter knob goes and this is your jam nut that's gonna go first right but other than those tools that you're gonna need you're gonna need a 14 millimeter wrench I have my husky stubby wrenches right here um, my uh, 14 millimeter wrench to remove your factory um, shifter knob off of the threading and then of course you're gonna need a 15 millimeter wrench for the top portion of this part right here that threads to your factory threading and then uh, what makes it a lot easier to uh, basically get the jam nut to stay you're gonna need a 9 16 wrench uh, just so that you can have this um, basically there you go so you can actually work both angles while you're tightening the jam nut on this right here so that your uh, shifter knob does not back out but ba basically that's what this is this is your solid gold shifter knob it's actually really heavy really nice quality i gotta say uh, and i can't wait to get it installed so let's go over to the car and start doing that all right so first things first you want to get your 14 millimeter wrench and put it on the actual bolt on the bottom and then while you're twisting to the left you want to twitch twist the actual shifter knob to the right so you lose the uh there you go till it snaps off once it snaps off you can just completely unthread your factory shifter knob once your factory shifter knob is off you can just set it aside and grab this jam nut and then unthread it off now that your jam nuts off the same thing with your uh factory uh, shifter knob just set it aside now you want to grab the new jam nut for your shifter knob and you want to just basically just put it on there and thread it in as far as it goes just leave it like that right and now you can just grab your shifter knob once you grab your shifter knob on this one uh, in particular it comes with the uh this right here which is essentially just a spacer i'm going to run it with a spacer so just put it in the threading okay now that grab your tool that um that the uh, company sent with it and then just put it in the little slot right here and just thread it all the way down once it's threaded all the way down uh set your tool aside now grab well, you want to set your new shifter knob aside for right now grab this piece right here the part that actually has the the nut portion on needs to be on top so that you have a little bit more torque available for when you put your uh, wrench on top and your wrench on bottom so you just want to put it on the threads and then just thread it as far down as it goes now you want to grab your 15 millimeter wrench for the top right here and then you want to grab your uh, 9 16 wrench and then just torque it together and once it's torqued and it's not going anywhere you can just set those tools aside now you can grab your aftermarket shifter knob and thread your new shift their knob in and there you go your new shifter knob is now installed all right so there you go here's a little bit of an up closer look of the solid gold shifter knob that I just got in, that I just installed on my car uh, as you can see I opted not to get the um, the uh, shift pattern on there um, mainly because I already know this car is a six speed, six speed manual transmission you know and all that stuff um, I mean it probably would have looked better but or been better in general but I think it looks better period like this when it's just one solid gold ball uh and one thing to add now that we're talking about the shift pattern too if it has a shift pattern and the shifter knob seems to be crooked or something you can always adjust um the shifter knob by just adjusting the jam nut on the bottom so if it doesn't seem to be 
uh, perfectly aligned. You could just back this out a little bit, move up the jam nut as needed, and then, uh, you know, torque that little silver piece uh, to the jam nut uh, at a little higher, a uh, little bit higher, so that you can actually thread this um to where it's supposed to be so that you get your shift pattern at the proper location so there you go let me know what you guys think about this all right so there you guys have it i just installed finished installing at least the uh solid gold shifter knob it was very expensive but i gotta say it is very worth it when you consider that it is definitely it weighs almost one pound which is considerably more uh weighted than the factory shifter knob although i do like the factory shifter knob this new one seems to be more practical when it comes to shifting faster and all that stuff. You know, a weighted one does assist a little bit on the shifting. Um, but uh, it's also very good as far as aesthetically pleasing to, you know, to the car for the car and to the eye as well. You know, so I see more people liking the car simply because they see a solid gold, gold object inside and it's, you know, it's good quality and everything. So uh, definitely give this video a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and tune into the next video.